Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Joe. And we're educators here at the Museum of Applied Arts and Sciences. Today we're going to be working through the Thinkershield exercise even flashier. If you haven't used the Thinkershield before, please check out our previous video, Getting Flashy. But let's just stop all this talking and get, get on, on with it. it. Just like we do every time we start our code, we're going to declare a variable to hold our pin number. Write INT at the beginning of our code as it's going to be an integer. Give your pin a unique name, but remember it is case sensitive. Then we need to make it equal to the LED that we want to control. We'll start with LED 1 pin and correlate it with the pin 13 on our board. Then we'll write INT LED 2 pin and set it to pin 8. But don't forget to add the semicolons at the end because it's just like a full stop when writing an essay. Then we're going to tell our board if our source is an input or an output. As they're both LEDs, they'll both be outputs. To set an output, we need to write pin mode LED 1 pin output and pin mode LED 2 pin output in our setup loop. Next, we need to tell our board when we want our LEDs on or off. To do that, we go down to our loop and write digital right LED 1 pin high, digital right LED 2 pin low. So this means that LED 1 will be on and LED 2 will be off. Remember to indent it as it keeps your code neat and easy to read. Then we're going to add a 0.5 second delay before inserting the loop again. This time in the loop we'll put LED 1 pin as low and LED 2 pin as high. And we'll add another delay of 500 as the delay is measured in milliseconds. When you've uploaded your code, your LEDs 13 and 8 should flash on and off every half second. You give it a try now. Now our code got even flashier. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to check out our other videos as well to learn more about the Thinkershield. Until then, get, get on, on with it. it.